I'm Dr. L, and this is Bike Bite, where I ride to work and answer your dental questions. If you have a dental question, comment below. I'll make a video about it. So in today's video, we're going to talk about taking a top impression without gagging. So I had a patient come in yesterday, she needs a night guard, and as part of that we have to take an upper impression, a lower impression, and a bite. So we did not realize that she was a gagger, and the first try was unsuccessful. Uh, a bit of a fun situation, but the second time we used all the tricks I'm about to tell you, it went nice and smooth. See you in a minute. Oh, hello. <laughs> you always beat me up to my office. How do you do it? <laughs> so, you're here to learn how to get an impression taken at your Dell office without gagging. Why would you need a Dell impression? A lot of times they're needed for bleach trays, clear liners, night guards, sport guards, crown, implant, partials. Lots of different things, you'll probably have impressions done. Now there's two. There's one on the bottom, one on the top. The one on the bottom is cake. You don't have to worry about that one at all. The one on the top though, some people have a gag reflex. Now if you know that you're one of those people that has a gag reflex, let us know so that we can do a good job for you without activating that gag reflex. A couple of tricks. You want to ask the dentist if they can sit you up a little bit. You see, we see better if you're laying back when we put the impression material, but if we know that you're particularly susceptible to gagging, we would be happy to sit you up a bit to avoid that. Ask the doctor or the assistant to do a dry run, meaning put the tray in your mouth, pretend everything's going so you know exactly what's going to happen before that gooey material is put in. So here are the tips and tricks. Uh, we have a tendency to close our eyes when we have things put in our mouth that are uncomfortable. Keep your eyes open. You want your brain to get as much stimulation as possible so that it does not focus on that gag reflex. So if you close your eyes, your brain just focuses on it. Keep those eyes open. You can lift one foot. Doesn't matter which foot it is. You can alternate. Don't ask me how it works. Trade secret. <laughs> now you'll be wearing a bib when you have these impressions taken. That bib is waterproof and you can lift it up. So if you have a little dribble, that's no problem. Your clothes will stay clean. And uh, if you do have a gag reflex and have a bad reaction, we do this all the time. Any dental office you go to, we are set up to take care of you if you have a problem. And here's a bonus tip for you. If you're on your second or your third or whatever number impression retry, you and the dentist or you and the assistant just keeps trying and not getting it. There's a little trick here. You see, for almost everything we need an impression for, we need uh, good material and information here, but we don't really care about information here. And what happens if the tray is completely filled up and you have a low palate, a very low lying top palate, the material can get squished down and come out. Uh, but a lot of times we can just put material here, put no material here, and if you have a very low lying palate, it will still squish out, get all the information we need, but none will go back. So if you're in the chair right now, uh, Googling on your phone how to take an impression, uh, ask the assistant or doctor, hey, uh, show me that tray. Can you just not put some here? It'll work. 